Today we're going to be making a winter salad, which was a suggestion of Lynn's. You could even say Lynn was obsessed with getting the winter salad into the rotation. <laughs> but a winter salad is a great idea. Basically, it's a salad utilizing things that are available in the winter and the summer, but they're available in the winter. And you can make a lovely, lively, delicious salad using winter ingredients. Let's make one. We're going to be using a very nice salad mix that has nasturtium leaves in it, which is very, very chef-y. They have a peppery taste. They actually are a, not just for looks. They have a very delicious taste, especially the leaves. And uh, we're gonna use some Broca flour, which is not Romanesco. It's basically broccoli and cauliflower mixed together. Some radishes, some beets, which are simply boiled. Skin on, take them out. When they're cool enough to handle, just rub them with a cloth and the skin will come right off. And you can tell they're cooked because you can stick a skewer straight through the beet. And some walnuts and stuff, So and some feta. So let's put this together and just talk about winter salad and how awesome it is to have salad in the winter time. So let's think about how we want this to look. How do we want the beets cut? Warning, beets are seconded only by cocoa powder in terms of kitchen mess. It does stain beet juice and it was used actually as a dye for many years. So be careful and I would suggest not cutting beets on your cutting board, cutting them on a plate. But anyway, beets um, are delicious. They're very nutritious. They're full of whatever that thing is that makes them red. <laughs> So I'm gonna do quite chunky pieces because I want people to have a chunky wintry salad. So here we go. I'm just gonna cut the beet and then quarter the beet. These are very nice beets. Now this is something you can put together pretty quickly. Like if somebody comes over and they bring, say they bring you a sandwich or you, they bring, or you have some chicken from the other night, you can throw this together very quickly. I'm gonna actually make these a little bit smaller. I'm going to include a few radishes for spicy flavor. Now the radishes, I'm just gonna slice in thick slices like that. And I'm not gonna do a lot of radish because radishes are very spicy. I bought this rather lovely baby salad, which is sort of in keeping with winter in a weird way, because if you were growing salad greens, they would be very tiny because you'd be growing them inside. So this actually works for me in terms of it being a winter salad. This is triple washed. So I'm just gonna put a lovely amount. Not too much, because you're putting a lot of items in the salad, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna use these beautiful flowers. Oh, it's so beautiful, right? This is washed, but they don't need to see you take this out of the box, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put some radishes. I'm going to put some beets. The beets are, the, are sort of the meat of the salad, right? This is an opportunity to have some creative design fun, you know? Remember, never too studied, never rigid ever about anything because rigidity causes heartbreak. The more you bend and flow, the better because believe me, everything's gonna change. Look how beautiful I'm making this. I'm just putting like pieces of walnut in there and it's gonna be softened by the dressing. Now the dressing, you could use anything you want. I'm going to make a dressing using a little water from the feta cheese that we're gonna use and just a vinaigrette, which is um, oil, vinegar, mustard. If you're scared to make salad dressing, one afternoon, just take a jar and make salad dressing until it tastes the way you like it. I use a little jar because you can, it's easy to shake it in a little jar and uh, just spend some time watching Judge Judy or something like that. Make some salad dressing because it'll take the fear away. This is absolutely divine. Lynn, what a nice idea. Well, thank you. Wow, you guys, this is so cute. All right, now we're going to do some very parsimonious feta, which is white. So you're thinking about your composition. Hello, Mata. Hello, feta. <laughs> I like the Greek style. The French style is, is good, but it's a little different. So I'm gonna cut three slices, basically. On Long Island, 
where I shop at Moira's vegetable stand, they have feta that comes in a can, which initially you would think is like, ew, it's in a can. It's so good. You want your feta to be sort of dry. If it's super mushy, I would put it in a cloth and just sort of gently dry it like this. Gently press it. This is your accent for your winter salad. Oh my God, it's so wintry. And then you're just gonna dress this at the last minute, maybe three minutes before you eat it, with a vinaigrette, which we've made using tomatoes, or you just put oil, vinegar, and mustard. Shake it in a jar, figure it out. You can do it, you're a dinner partier. Winter salad, what a palate. Lynn was obsessed with getting the winter salad into the rotation. <laughs> but a winter salad is a great idea.